Jigsaw Ransomware is back. Next on your 4 Minute Crypto News for July 27th, 2018. Hey guys, welcome to the 4 Minute Crypto Show for your daily dose of crypto news. Now today's show, it's from a post by Nick Chong at newsbtc.com and it is brought to you by Turnkey Mining. Are you interested in mining crypto but, but you have no idea how to start? Look at the turnkey solution offered at turnkeymining.com. ZDNet recently reported that the Jigsaw ransomware has recently been revised by hackers to steal Bitcoin from unsuspecting users through a simple but very effective trick. Now, Jigsaw first appeared on the cryptocurrency scene back in April of 2016 as a form of ransomware, holding the files and information of users hostage until a random was paid in the form of Bitcoin. Now, the reason why it's named Jigsaw is pretty simple. It's due to the fact that the piece of code displayed the likeness of the villain from the horror film Saw. However, in this new revision, the ransomware has been repurposed to steal Bitcoin in a fairly innovative and non-intrusive manner, modifying the addresses put in by a user. So once the piece of malware alters an address, the Bitcoin payment will be then redirected to the hacker's wallet, resulting in the loss of cryptocurrency for the victim. Now, Jigsaw accomplishes this by altering Bitcoin addresses in someone's clipboard or in the area where addresses are copied or where the pieces of text lie. However, the ingenuity of the program doesn't stop just there, as Jigsaw is able to change the new address for the payment to one that looks pretty similar to the intended one. So it tricks the user into thinking the hacker's address and the original address are one and the same. So kind of when you look at the address to check it at first sight, it looks like the one you entered. Jigsaw has been rather successful. Re researchers from Fortinet who first broke the news about Jigsaw say that cyber attacks utilizing this method have garnered over 8.4 Bitcoin or approximately 61,000 at current market prices. Fortinet also discovered that there were many similar projects from modifying cryptocurrency addresses that were being advertised on the dark web forums for sale, presumably by hackers enlisting the same methods of attack. It is likely that the propagation of clipboard substitutions or the growth of clipboard substitutions will become a growing threat for cryptocurrency users in the future, as it is much more reliable, non-intrusive, and very profitable for hackers to get their hands on consumers' crypto. So watch out, double check, triple check, and maybe even quadruple check the address when you send your next Bitcoin transaction. So another way for people to steal your cryptocurrency. What will they come up with next? What do you think? Let me know in the comments or on Twitter at Gary Leland. Hey, thanks for joining me for today's show. And if you are watching this show on YouTube, please subscribe and add a comment and click that bell or whatever it is. If you're listening to the podcast on iTunes, I would really appreciate a great five-star review. Those two things help way more than you realize help the show grow. Either of them will help immensely. I'm your host, Gary Leland, and please join me every weekday for another episode of 4 Minute Crypto. This is a CryptoCousins.com production.